Hello and welcome to this week's weekly update. And yes, this week I managed to go out uh, with the Ramblers for the first time since lockdown started. Yes, uh, walking is back. Uh, not quite in the form that uh, it was before. Well, I mean, the walking is because you just put one foot in front of the other. Um, but this one, you have to uh, book on them uh, for obvious reasons. If uh, somebody catches COVID, uh, they can um, sort of trace the contacts, which is reasonable, I suppose. And um, also, there's no car shares. So I had to go on the uh, short walk that was um, uh, setting off from... Um, uh, being road in Barney and um, that was quite good because we went to places uh, and footpaths that I'd never been before um, in past um, like uh, the golf club I always go past the golf club on my um, cycles and um, uh, one of the footpaths went straight through the golf club um, so um, that was an experience saw the golf club well actually saw the golf course didn't see the clubhouse um, uh, and it went through what on the map looks like a small little splodge of green for trees, which was really long piece of tree uh, of woodland, uh, and was apparently used um, for uh, when there was hunting, and uh, it was used for sort of like so the birds and things that people were hunting could take cover before they sort of chased them out and started hunting them. Um, but luckily, it's not used for hunting purposes these days, and the birds and other uh, animals are quite safe. Um, and then we um, stopped off at the ice cream farm, another place that um, I'd never been to before. Um, and they had two flavours of vegan ice cream. Uh, so uh, even my uh, lactose intolerance, I was able to um, sort of uh, enjoy the ice cream. Um, I think it was made with coconut uh, milk because um, the flavour was r chocolate raspberry um, yet it, there was a distinct um, aftertaste of coconut but it was quite nice maybe they should have renamed it coconut chocolate raspberry um, but in really it was ice cream and it was welcome because it was baking hot um, and um, I'm so glad that I went and invested in the air conditioning unit uh, uh, a couple of years ago during that uh, last heat wave that we had um, because um, I've been able to keep the place uh, nice and cool. Um, it costs a small fortune, but I, I, I had one day when I didn't use it and like, no, never again. Uh, so um, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to keep cool. Uh, I don't mind it when it gets up to sort of like 25, 26, but uh, when it starts getting up to 37, 38, uh, oh, um, I think if we got that permanently, I'd have permanent air conditioning installed and then a very big electricity bill. Uh, so, um, in the hope of a thunderstorm, uh, I will leave you from a very, very hot barnet. Until next week, goodbye.